Hello guys, I'm Derek Chris and today we're going to try something different. I uh, know most of you know me as the DaVinci Resolve guy, but today I said I should try to grade with Premiere Pro and I'm using Premiere Pro 2020. Uh, I know there's a newer version, but I'm not really a Premiere Pro guy, so I don't really care. So uh, we're going to be working with the footage from my last short film, which is House of Colors. I'll be House and Colors, yeah, House and Colors. Alright, and this is what we are going to be creating today. Alright, so this is it. We're going to create this particular clip from the short film House and Colors. So it is well known that DaVinci Resolve is one of the best color grading software, if not the best color grading software out there. So can Premiere Pro compete with DaVinci Resolve when it comes to color grading? And the answer is no, it can't. But that does not mean we cannot achieve the same look that DaVinci gives on Premiere Pro. It's just that the tools are going to be limited and um, we're going to struggle a lot to get the same look. So let's go. So now we are in our color tab in Premiere Pro 2020 and um, I'm going to try and get the same look. Now this is my reference. Alright. So this is from the short film, has some colors already graded, it's just a still I pulled that from the short film and this is the same still not graded. So we are going to try and match the same look for, for this clip. And this was great in the DaVinci Resolve. This is raw and I'm going to try and get the same look from DaVinci Resolve. So first off, we can see that this is still in our log profile or on DaVinci we call it film and film profile and it's flat. So in DaVinci Resolve, there's a, um, I think it's a function, I don't know the exact word, where you can just click apply loads and blah, blah, blah. just the way it's going to convert from Blackmagic uh, film to Rec 709 and you can still do that in Premiere but Blackmagic and DaVinci Resolve is a lot easier if you want to do that in Premiere Pro I believe you just go to basic correction input loads and browse I don't know this is where it is so I exported this from DaVinci to a folder and I'm just going to click it and boom this is it already converted to Rec 709 but now I want to do that from scratch I want to create convert from this log profile to Rec 709 from scratch and let's see looking at this i can't see my gain i can't see my gamma i can't see anything uh let's see now, i'm not a premiere pro guy although i've used premiere pro but i'm not a premiere pro guy i did and uh, color grade and everything in davinci resolve so let's try okay basic correction Let's take our shadows down, stay away from here and our vectorscope. So I'm trying to spread out this um, waveform. So I'm going to take my shadows down. Uh, huh. Huh. Okay. It's, it's, it's not really doing my though. So let me use my curves. I know there's a better way of doing this probably somewhere, I don't know. But right now I'm just going to use the tools I know of. Alright, let's take it down. Let's give that S curve looking thing. Not bad so far, but it's it needs more contrast. So I'm going to add that contrast here. Take my shadows down, bring my highlights up, my whites up. I think this is the gain, and just like Da Vinci, take my blacks down a bit. Maybe this curves is too much, so just push it up a bit. So remember, we are trying to get the same look. So let's go. We are getting there. So far, if you look at the comparison, side by side comparison, you would notice. Just hold up, hold on, hold on. My computer is slow. All right. Side by side comparison, you notice that this is is more saturated and is pushed towards towards the blue less than two. And uh, so let's try and match that. All right. Where were we? So now let's give this thing saturation. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Give me more blacks. Okay, take my highlights up. This is already graded. This is it. So from this, you can see that we have this uh, 
teal greeny looking thing and this is more for blues look at this 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 and this so let's try and match that one how do we do that let's see with the tools i'm giving here in my lumetric color let's see if i push my midtones to blue let's go this this we're still there so let's try and uh, use our colors hue hue versus hue click on our blues move it over oh, hold on okay i think we are getting there now side by side comparison again okay my computer is really slow all right side by side comparison you can see that this is more saturated than this so i'm just going to take my saturation down but when it comes to the blues and all i think we have gotten there yeah we are kind of close from this this is um the one we are grading and this is from short film you can see that the saturation oh sorry about that guys getting a lot of notifications okay from here you can see that this saturation on the lamp is way too much and this is not as much you can still see that from the skin tones and all so let's try and match that so we just take our saturation down all right saturation let's take it down 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 all right let's do side by side comparison again let's give it a moment here all right okay so from this footage it has more contrast well, for the colors i think we are there we are there yeah okay in my i can see here that this is still a bit more saturated this is not and this is a bit yellow and this is orange so let's try and match that just take this to orange then uh, add more contrast on this and i think that's it so let's do that so add more contrast okay we're already maxed out here so let's go with our shadows take our shadows down is down then let's target the the orange in here i think that's our highlight so let's use our highlights here push that orange that lamp to is it doing anything all right let's push it to orange red orange around the side let's push it that so let's see side by side comparison give it a minute guys okay we're back up so side by side comparison i think we have done pretty well all right i'm still noticing something you can see here in my shadows there's a bit of blue but here we don't have that you can see here so let's try and match that and throw some blues to our shadows and we can achieve that quite easily with a course just go to our blue channel out here at here at the point here so here we just add some blues to our shadows just not too much just a bit i think push more here just a bit yeah and take this one down a bit again all right now you can see this this maybe i think i pushed it too far so let me bring it down again this this is uh it's almost identical just needs more contrast okay maybe that's too much now from here you can see how the footage is glowing you can see it on the on his face i think i can achieve the same look here with my hold on this contrast a bit too much let's take it back i can achieve that with my let me see whites highlights okay that did not work now you see how i'm struggling here to grade but in davinci i can just do this in a few clicks okay let's move our midtones up Oof, i 
no I'm really struggling guys I am struggling to get this <laughs> okay oh no no that did not work huh Okay, okay, I think this is it. We are pretty close. Well, let's do side by side comparison. Lose a minute. Alright, side by side comparison. What do we notice? So I think I pushed the blues too much to the shadows. And this image is clean, it's cleaner than this, so I think I'll have to do some denoising. So Push too much blues in the shadows, and then I took away the contrast. But for here, we are identical. For here, we still have a little bit of hot spots here, and this is doesn't. So let's try and match that. So take out hot spots and uh, add more contrast, and take out some blues from the shadows. Let's do that. All right. So I just found a tool that works for that uh, glowing stuff. So apparently, it's my contrast. They can see they take my contrast down our I've gotten that glowy look. Maybe I took it too much. So let's go back up a bit. Now let's throw more blues to the shadows. Let's see. I think we are there. I think this is it. All right, side by side comparison. Give it a minute again, guys. All right. So side by side comparison. Now, what do you notice? <laughs> I think I did it way too much, but you, you get the point, guys. You can just tweak it here and there, and you still get the same look. So now this is not a complex grade. I mean, what I did in DaVinci Resolve is actually not that difficult. It's just a simple grade. But if you want to do something a, bit, a little bit complex, uh, you cannot use Premiere Pro before. Something as simple as this, you can really use Premiere Pro. You can just slap in a lot and you're good to go. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. See you next time.